We're Eamon and Beck, and this is our home. We love that living small actually means living large. In fact, we've just shipped our home to Africa. But what happens between the highlight reel of the big cities and grand adventures? The reality of van life in Morocco is in the quiet moments shared with locals. Good photo. Ching ching. <laughs> the long drive days on tough terrain. Welcome to the aftermath of a drive like that. Laundry mishaps, mediocre showers, and so much more. Welcome to a lazy day in Morocco. I feel like we found a beautiful pace of travel since being in this new country. We'll travel for a couple of days and then we will stay put. So we're at this beautiful campground right around the lake and there is absolutely no internet. So we've been really creative with our time. Eamon is cur currently playing with a local, um, teaching him frisbee. It's like a clay foot bath, dude. <laughs> He's saying, go faster. In many countries, this would be kidnapping. <laughs> Ready, Ashwan? Hold it straight, Ashwan. Yeah, perfect. No, 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 no. Ça c'est bon? No. <laughs> I guess our friends are very loyal because we keep feeding them. <laughs> so they're just yeah. munching along. Pigs good? C'est bon? C'est bon. C'est bon. <laughs> and um, we actually are making hummus from real chickpeas. We got these from the bulk section and Becca took a few scoops. It looked all good. I went to soak them and like 35 bugs rose to the top. There's actually one bug in here now so I think I'm gonna rinse it. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> This has turned into a serious crisis mode. I figured when we rinse the chickpeas, all the bugs would just, you know, rinse off. I just saw a brown one, so I said, that's weird, and I cut it open. Unfortunately, I don't think this is going to be salvageable. So we are switching to, I think we have one can of already cooked chickpeas and a mix between white beans. So it's still going to be great. Chester? Mmm. Mm. C'est bon. <laughs> C'est like? bon or no? No. <laughs> no? Yeah. You like it? Oui. Yeah. yeah. So good. While we were trying to follow the recipe from our cookbook, the hummus still turned out amazing without the chickpeas so I mean I think it's a good sign if I've eaten this entire bag of crisps with it and this entire board of carrot sticks. If you guys are interested in checking out some plant-based recipes Amy and I have our 52 cookbook 52 recipe cookbook available on our website and it will be linked below. Eamon there's never a dull moment with him he's now playing with the children. Oh, my God. 
Let your sister try. Let your sister try. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love this kid. No, no, no more, no more. Cleaning now, cleaning. Okay. And Beck's obviously staying warm in here. <laughs> Buddy, I'm just having a See ya. It has been a chilly, chilly morning. <sighs> kind of incredible how different the temperatures are from like day to night, but I guess that's desert vibes for you, isn't it? It is, it's truly amazing. And in the, in the day we could be out with no shirt, sunbathing, and then at <laughs> night here we got frost, it's freezing. And our heater on. Well, you <laughs> might have noticed <laughs> that uh, the squad has shrunk. Alex has moved on, he's got some uh, Thinks he needs to sort out in Marrakesh, as well as we'll be saying our goodbyes to Alan. Hopefully, temporary goodbyes, but he's got to go pick up the missus in Marrakesh. So, Whoa. good morning, folks. Good what morning. a frosty one it's been, huh? I think it's more than frosty. I was minus one in here this morning. Oh, oh. Yeah. you didn't have the heat on? No, I don't use the gas overnight because it just burns too much gas. Uh, so. Balling on a budget, are you? <laughs> Suffering silence. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's got his missus coming so they can cuddle and snuggle and keep yeah, warm. Yeah. We'll see you soon. Peace, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Almost forgot. For yesterday. Oh, what a... You give it to the other guy. We went for a run yesterday. Played a good match of foosball. We lost 10 nothing, so we owe them five derm. Thank you, bye-bye. Okay, back to the road. Running. I wonder what they're running for. Sticker! <laughs> <laughs> She's like, this is what I get? Oh, yes sir. Bye bye, hello, hello. <laughs> cruising along rather easily and then I think we spoke too soon. The road has taken a turn for the worse. I did get a couple seconds of internet and realized that we have three more hours of this. <laughs> so we're just buckled up. We should just put some music on and enjoy the ride. Yeah. There's nothing else we can do about that. We've hit some ice patches too so we're thankful our tires are snow rated and we'll just enjoy. <laughs> you know what direction? The right or left? Right? Thanks. Where are they?
They're not coming. Huh? They're not here. Should I run back? I just pulled over to ask them how they're doing and to see if I could mount the GoPro onto their van. <laughs> and they're not here. I'm gonna run back and check if they're right. Oh, they made it. Oh, you guys gave me a heart attack. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. First opportunity. Oh, okay, you having fun? What a ride, eh? Yeah, we call this a road, huh? Yeah, I know. I can't believe <laughs> I it's on map, yeah. too. Aftermath of a drive like that. Got some bananas falling. All my skincare from up there, that must have come open. Couch bed is kind of a slant. But my goodness, you guys, these views. Oh, my water bottle. <laughs> yeah, these views make up for it. Just to give you guys an idea of the kind of road we were on, this is what Google Maps is showing me. Yeah got leftovers from last night. Just a tofu, stir fry, rice. Spicy. Really good though. Thanks buddy. Alrighty, just checked Google Maps. Coffee for you, sir. Oh, madame. <laughs> and it says we have one hour to the main town, Midelt, which is where mm. we're trying to head. It's good. Mm. Oh, it's delicious. I was just gonna say that I would like to say I enjoyed the last bit of the drive. But my clenched jaw would tell you otherwise. And as Eamon just put it, we have nowhere else to be. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. So, so you just tranquilo. gotta relax. Are you worried about the van? I'm just worried about my entire home. Yeah. Baby, I built this van with so many nails and so many two by fours. <laughs> you'd have to have a gorilla sit on this van before it broke. So uh, all right. you just relax there, darling. Quite an interesting accent you've chosen for today. <laughs> all right. Let's hit the road, Jack. Hey, I'm popping like champagne. Glass half full of like every day. No more working at the ballet. I had to rock the boat so I can ride the way. We're just driving by and pulled over to reset the GoPro. And look who we found in the little corner here. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Bro? We were Good literally time, driving girls. by. That was so funny. Hi, I, we li yeah, we literally pulled over to reset the GoPro, and I was like, "Oh, there's another spinner there." <laughs> yeah, I stayed here last night. Oh yeah. Oh, nice one. Pasta Spilt, spilled the water again. Pasta this time. Oh, nice. <laughs> All in my shoes and everything. Beauty. Hi, Suck. Hi, Sucky. We're continuing to use the app Park for Night down here in Morocco, which is the app that we use to find campgrounds in. Um, Europe. all of Europe as well and this one has a five-star rating the other one doesn't have the best but you guys really want to do laundry oh, so. do you not agree no I mean we'll do, go check it out I don't think yeah, it's that it's much further far. okay should I go see what the deal is please I'll be back I just met my friend I think his name is Rashid I'm not hundred percent sure but he's a very very nice guy English Spanish French very impressed with all the languages these guys speak 60 Durham for Chops is just dropping drawers there um, for the night, and then 100 Durham's we're both doing laundry, so that's why I think he's ditching his pants. Um, I'm hoping this will all fit though. And for the first time in Eamon and Beck history, Becca is letting me come up with a work it, workout. So I've designed this really hardcore circuit using the equipment we have here. Let me show you how it looks. So for this one, you can use the uh, Ped Baker barbecue, it's very heavy. <laughs> I was gonna use this chair, but I don't think I'm going to. So just a nice lean over and a pull back. It's quite a bit of weight, so dude. So unstable. Oh, bicep, we've got the one wheel here. I'll be oh. using the band. We're gonna come over to the mat, do some mountain climbers. Let's get for rope. <laughs> and over here, it's important. You get your push and pull action. Nice pull squat. Hold it once. And we'll repeat that three times. Not gonna lie, bud, between the altitude and your rare selection of moves, that was a killer workout. At least we have a hot shower to look forward to. Am I right? It's amazing when you live in a van and this is like luxury. Hot shower, baby. Catch you on the other side. There's only one hot shower at a time, so. I guess I'll see in a bit. 
I was just saying to Eamon that I think in many circumstances I would find a lot of reasons to fault that shower, but today I'm just, whew, I needed it. I think it's been, I'm not gonna lie, I think it's been over a week, guys. And it has been a week since I brushed my hair, so this might be a two, two-handed job. So normally I like to get the raw scenes of like what's actually happening, but in this country a lot of people are not cool with cameras, so we're gonna do our best to explain what's happened with the laundry situation. <laughs> as you guys saw, as soon as we rolled up, he offered laundry services. 100 dirham is like 10 euros for wash and dry, and we ended up doing two loads. We asked if our sheets would be okay to sleep on this evening. It's this evening and our sheets are soaking wet. So he has kindly offered um, one sheet and two very fancy looking pillowcases that we will use this evening and hope, fingers crossed, that we have some clean dry laundry tomorrow morning. <laughs> Speaking of, the beautiful new pillowcase will be- I love them. We might the switch evening. permanently actually. Yeah. So this is the weirdest thing, like it, it, the pump just clicked in, now it stops. <sighs> this way is clockwise, right? Uh, yep. Okay, so the voltage is correct. People outside of the campground might think something's happening in this van. <laughs> With two hungry kids, now is not a time to sort out our water issues, so we are moving on and we will figure that one out tomorrow. As you can tell by the noise behind us, we've come to the local Sunday market here in Medellin. We met Hassan at the campsite and he volunteered to take us to the market and show us some of his favorite stalls as well as his own little booth. Let's go check it So out. yeah, we're getting a lot of looks, but we'll go explore. <laughs> <laughs> about the market. He reckons there's over 800 vendors that come here. And Hassan himself is a vendor of crystals and different minerals. Because Medelt is really well known for the mining that they do. There's over five or 600 different types yes, of minerals lots of, lots of, uh, lots of uh, types of minerals. And I think we're headed towards the crystals now. Mm -hmm. Ellie just mentioned she's not sure we're gonna be able to leave without buying something. So <laughs> we are feeling a little trapped. We're getting tea prepared for us, some fresh mint tea, or as they refer to it as their bourbon whiskey. Their Scot Scotch whiskey? I think you actually meant Scotch yeah. whiskey. No, no, no that's bourbon whiskey, but, bourbon. oh. Well, because before the guy said bourbon whiskey. Bourbon anyway, they don't drink <laughs> bourbon or whiskey. <laughs> They're referring to the mint tea. And uh, I might end up with one of these. You would look really nice in it, Glenn. Try it on. <laughs> I like, it's nice, huh? Yeah. Pockets? Oh, no pockets. Oh, deal breaker for You just hold your hands here. Man. You have to wear pants, though, I guess. Yeah, of course. I have pockets in my pants. Put your... <laughs> Put your bun down, aim it. Is the bun brutal? <laughs> yes. Do I need to get rid of this? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Model. I'm ready for the Sahara. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Jaiwala. <laughs> Shukran, Mohammed. Thank you. Thank you. This is something I've been looking forward to coming to Morocco is the figs and dates. You know, in the last vlog you saw me with my fig necklace. We just tried this golden one. It's most expensive, but it literally tastes like a Krispy Kreme donut. Stories 
Okay, I don't really know what's bueno. Wow, wow, wow. I feel like Morocco is all of my favorite countries and landscapes in one country. I can't believe we just thought we were going on an afternoon drive to get closer to the sand dunes and yet we went through this beautiful gorge and we're at this beautiful camp spot. So Morocco continues to impress. And it doesn't take long for the entrepreneurs to find you. I'm sure they're coming to sell us something. Ibrahim. You want to show me something special? Thank you. It's perfect, huh? Does it look Good. nice? Yeah. Good. Good photo. Ching ching. <laughs> Cool. Merci beaucoup. Do you want one? No, I don't need one. I don't need one. Charlie's got a nice one on. <laughs> Very nice, Charlie. And we've finished up dinner. On to dessert. I'm making my way through the figs. <laughs> Beck wouldn't let me get any of those dates until I finished my fig necklace. So. <laughs> Strict rules I over here. Like such a mom. I didn't mean that. I just meant. You meant that. <laughs> yeah, I meant that. You can get dates the next time we see them, okay, bud? Thanks, bud. No bud. Join us next week as we venture into the Sahara Desert. We explore the dunes, follow complete strangers into the Black Desert and get a behind the scenes look at life as a local. Subscribe so you never miss a video. <laughs>